Hi everybody, I'm Ross Schaefer, and today in the Relevant Leaders Club, I wanna to talk to you about how leaders can make better decisions. Look, you know, at the very core of great leadership is being able to make good decisions every single day. So, how do you do that? Well, I'm gonna suggest that you start preparing your decisions and your actions well in advance because great leaders premeditate how they're gonna respond in every situation. They don't want to be surprised. They don't want to be shocked. And because they know how they will respond to various scenarios, they won't have to make crucial decisions under pressure, or in some cases, a crisis. Look, if you've ever watched an NFL game on television, you've seen the coaches on the sidelines with that large laminated poster that sits in front of their face so that nobody can lip read them. But it also shows them what play to run in any combination of downs and yardage. And then you've probably seen the quarterbacks. They've got an armband that has similar information that'll help them call plays based upon how the defense is lining up. See, by preparing your decisions ahead of time, you can react more quickly. You're gonna look smart. You'll look ready to instill confidence in the stakeholders and in your team. You're gonna look worthy of that big paycheck you take home. So, how do you premeditate those decisions? Well, think of yourself as your own Siri the artificial intelligence machine inside every iPhone, and IBM has one of their own, they call it Watson. Regardless, these virtual people are programmed to give you answers based on questions they expect most people to ask. So for you, make a long list of every possible decision you might have to ever make. And if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my own memory for the list. I talk to other leaders, I talk about their problems, their consequences, what they've gone through, because ultimately you want a course of action for every eventuality. Here's a few that you might have run into. Uh, how will you respond if somebody on your team posted secret information about your company on social media? What will you do if there's a critical shipping breakdown? How will you expedite it? If your product causes injury or harm to a customer, what will you do? What's your protocol? If you're supposed to weigh in on a merger or an acquisition, what criteria will you judge it by? You get the idea. Anyway, make a list. Make it as exhaustive as you can. Now, I've seen leaders who actually keep notes in their iPhones or their uh, tablets so that they can cross-reference a solution very quickly. All right, now let's get into those more complicated decision-making issues. A decision that requires you to make a scary risk assessment or a capital investment based on factors that are out of your control. Well, luckily now we have software programs that can help you make better informed choices. And all you have to do, enter the facts that you do know and the software will quickly analyze several outcomes based upon your preferences and your expectations. For example, there's a company called Logical Decisions. Now I'll call them LD for the purpose of this idea here. They've got a variety of software applications to help make your decision making much easier. LD Software has helped locate the best site to build a reservoir. LD Software has been instrumental in determining financial stability of certain insurance products. They even helped the Air Force predict failure outcomes for fighter jets. Because premeditated, fact-based decision-making is going to help you avoid the emotional influencers that could derail a mission-critical business decision for you. Now, if you want more information on those kinds of software programs, click on the link in the description page below this video and you'll see several programs that you can check out on the web. Now, the reason that I am such a fan of premeditated decisions is because we've all made huge errors based on our gut feelings. Now, sometimes you get it right. Maybe you got it right more than once, but the right decisions along the way should be fact-based. In fact, if you've ever seen the Oscar-nominated movie, The Big Short, you saw firsthand how poor gut feeling decisions nearly collapsed our global economy. And finally, once you've made a good decision, even if it's not popular, don't overthink it and don't second guess yourself. Jim Barksdale, he's the guy who created Netscape and then sold the company to AOL for 4.2 billion. Love to reduce decision-making to a process that anybody could understand. And for example, whenever he was dealing with a mistake, uh, his decision-making credo was to address the mistake and then let it go. Barksdale had three rules of business I think we can all learn from. Rule one, if you see a snake, don't call committees, don't call your buddies, don't get a meeting together, just kill the snake. Secondly, don't go back and play with dead snakes. We haven't got time to go back and revisit those decisions we've already decided. And rule three, all opportunities at first start out looking like snakes. So naturally you're gonna be suspicious, but 
If you see a problem, your competitors probably have seen it too. So the way to look at a problem is as a possible opportunity to make another good decision. I'm Ross Schaefer, and if you like what you've heard here on the Relevant Leaders Club, please subscribe and hear more of our growth tactics and innovations help you become a better leader. And since this is a club, we would love for you to share your comments below so that you can help other leaders, help the community. All right, we'll see you next time.